Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Patrick. Uh, solution that was posted in our Sakai forums. Uh, so welcome everybody and thank you for posting this really nice solution of a, a exponential problem here. And I think in the forums it says there has to be an alternative way to solve this. Uh, and looking at it, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about it and give you a couple of tools. Now, as far as the answer, there's not a much easier way to solve this than uh, the one listed here. Uh, generally, if our variable is in the exponent position, we're going to end up having to use either log or natural log, uh, which is basically the same thing. I prefer natural log myself. But the one thing I did see here is uh, that... I don't think there's any reason to break this 15 up into 3 times 5. It will uh, eventually reduce this to 1, but uh, if I were doing this problem, I would just do it like this. So I would start off with the, uh, the 3 to the 3x minus 4 is equal to 15. Um, and then once I get my, uh, my base by itself with just the exponent on one side and then the value on the other side, that's what I'm going to apply the natural log. So then you can do the natural log of 3 uh, to the 3x minus, excuse my, to the 3x minus 4. And this would be equal to the natural log of 15. So take the natural log of both sides. And the reason that we do that is because the, the logarithms have a special property that allows us to take the exponent and to bring it out front as a product. So we're going to take that whole exponent and bring it out front. So then we're going to have 3x minus 4. Um, times the natural log of 3 is equal to equal to the natural log of 15. All right, the next thing I can do here is I can divide both sides by the natural log of 3. So I'm going to have 3x minus 4 is equal to the natural log of 15 over the natural log of 3. I can add 4 to both sides, so 3x is equal to that natural log of 15 over the natural log of 3 plus 4. And then finally, I can divide both sides by 3, which is really the same thing as multiplying both sides by 1 third. So that's going to give me x is equal to natural log of 15 over 3 times the natural log of 3, because we multiplied this first term by 1 third, uh, plus 4 over 3. And this answer right here should be equivalent to that answer right there. Um, so either one of those would work if you were doing a test. Now, if you're doing my math lab, I assume both of those would work, but remember, it's somebody who's writing the questions and inputting the answers. Um, so I have seen cases where it, it doesn't. So it is good to know both ways. But let's take a look at this. So this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine steps. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we did break it down to slightly few steps by leaving the 15 intact. And now there's also another really important thing that I want to show you. So let's take out the calculator. And what I'm going to do here is first get a decimal approximation for this side over here. Oops, uh, let's go back to the main screen. So this is 5 thirds plus natural log of 5, natural log of 5, divided by, and I'll put the whole bottom in parentheses since we have a uh, product there. 3 times natural log of 3. And that decimal approximation is about 
one, five, five, if you round to three decimal places. The next thing I want to do is I want to put in this side to make sure that that's the same thing. Uh, give me just a second. All right, this is natural log of 15 divided by three natural log of three um, plus four thirds plus four thirds and we get the exact same decimal approximation which means that this is equivalent or just a good answer is the other one and then the final thing that i want to do is oops is is my calculator there we go um, is to check these answers and there's a real easy way to check them um, and if I was only asked for the decimal approximation of the number and not the um, exact value with the natural logs I could also use this method to solve it and that is um, we go to y equals and we're going to put one side in here in y1 so three raised to the 3x minus 4, 3x minus 4, and then y2 is just going to be the other side of this initial equation, 15. So this is basically like y is equal to 15 and y is equal to 3 to the 3x minus 4, and enter, and we're going to graph this. Now, I already went to my window and changed the y max value from 10 to 20. Um, so we could see this because I knew I had the y equals 15 line in there. Uh, but if I hadn't done that already, you could go to your window and just kind of change the window around. The, the idea here is that we need to see um, where the intersection occurs. And the intersection here is actually going to be the solution to this problem. So, um, how do you find the intersection? Well, you can hit second trace, which is the calculate, and you go down to intersect, hit enter. Make sure I got the blue line, I got the red line, enter. I don't want to make a guess, so I just enter again, and I get that 2.155 rounded to three decimal places. So we get the same value there. So that will at least let me check my solution here if I want to make sure that it's correct by finding the decimal approximation and then finding uh, checking the intersect of those two functions. Um, or, like I said, if I was just asked to find the decimal approximation, I could just use this. But as far as I know, there's no way to do this and then to convert this back to like a, a form with uh, natural logs or square roots if you were doing something with square roots. So, it is helpful, but uh, it's not always the right way to do it. All right, guys, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know, and I hope you all have a great rest of your week. Thanks.